what was it about the Palace performance that impressed you the most, DR? Because going to the Etihad is not easy, and to lead for the majority of the game is not easy, especially with the attacking talent that Man City have at their disposal. What impressed you most about the Crystal Palace performance? It's the fact that we were organised for the whole 90 minutes and playing playing against teams like City, you just have to make sure that you keep your shape and don't do any mistakes as they can punish you, as we saw, especially in the second half. So for the majority of the game, we managed to keep our shape and everyone was on the same page, which was very important in terms of getting a result as even if one player is off the page, let's say Wolf and Tosson up front, if both of them can't link up well, then it could be a whole different result. So you need to make sure that everyone was playing well and they did. Were there any other players that stood out for you, James? Um, yeah, I, mean, I I felt the whole team did really well. I I thought uh, James Tompkins had a, had a really good game, apart from the second goal of Man City. Uh, he was uh, responsible, I felt, for that one. But... Apart from that, I felt uh, he had a really good game. Uh, Tosin was was kind of my man of the match. I thought it was the best debut I've seen in a player <laughs> for Palace for a long time. Um, like DR said, you know, he held the ball up well. I didn't really see him put a foot wrong. I mean, you know, unless you're saying, well, he should have scored when he had that fantastic touch of the ball and, mm. and, and maybe shot it a bit too close. But But I thought he had one of the best debuts we've seen in a Palace shirt. Is James Tompkins underrated? Well, not from Palace fans. I feel like maybe from outsiders. I think everyone at Palace rates him pretty much. Um, the fact that we got him for £10 million and Checo Chiate is similar, 10 to 15, mm. is, is fantastic business by the club. Um, him and Sacco, before Gary Cahill joined the club, both of them, when they are fit, they're absolutely fantastic. And sometimes it goes a bit unnoticed. We, we see at Palace, I mean, we praise them both when they are fit and playing, but I don't really see other clubs really talking about the pairing of James Tompkins and Mamadou Sacco or James Tompkins and Gary Cahill. Even against a result against City, people were talking more about Wilfred Zaha and Tosin, whereas if you look at, as James said, um, the defensive pairing, I feel like they contribute as much as the trio up front. 